Hey folks, I'm Dennis. Thanks for watching. Today I'm going to show you how to install a set of AVS side window deflectors on a 2018 F-150. These same deflectors and the same procedure will work for a 2015 to a 2021 F-150 Super Crew. I'll show you how to do the front and the back. These are in channel. Let's get started. The trick with these trucks is they've got the the windows have an auto uh, like a bounce back feature. If the window senses anything caught in the track, it'll send the window back down. A lot of people have trouble with these visors, the in channel visors and that feature. The key is there's a tab on the, the end of these. There's one on the back and there's one on the front. The front tab has to go between the trim and the mirror cap, and the back tab has to go between the weather stripping and the, the this piece on the door. They call it the door frame. I don't know if that's a frame or not, but it's got to go in there. If you get those tabs in there, you're good to go. You won't have a problem with the bounce back. But before you do anything else, I, I recommend before you clean the channel, before you pull the tape, anything, go ahead and dry fit it. Now I'm going to use a trim tool. You don't really have to have this. You can, you can finagle it with your fingers, but for purposes of filming, it's going to be easier to show you. So I'm going to, and I'm going to use the hook side of this trim tool. So it's kind of out of our way. I'm just going to stick it between the, uh, the rubber here and the, and the hard frame cap so I can get that tab in. So I'm going to stick that tab in right there. I'm going to give you a close up of that. Here's the tab on the back. Got the trim tool stuck between the this rubber trim piece and the hard cap. I like to use a vinyl tool because it's not likely to scratch anything. So I'm just going to take that tab and stick it right in there. Okay. And then the part where the tape goes, goes in the, in the window channel which is where the window actually goes. And you can just kind of roll that in there. Now here on the front edge, same thing. I'm going to take that trim tool and I'm going to stick it between the, the hard plastic mirror cap. And there's a, there's some rubber trim behind it. That's where that tab goes. You want it to go and you got to kind of work it a little bit. Keep that where the tape is in the channel and then stick that in there. And if you got it in there right, it'll pretty much stay. So you can see about right here, it's staying put. And right there, it's staying put. That kind of tells you that you got it in the right spot before you do anything else. Like, okay, cool, I understand how it's gonna go in. So now I recommend pulling that out cleaning the channel and let's get it installed they give you four alcohol prep pads one for each window i like to leave the window part part of the way up so you make sure you've got the actual channel and not like a you know where the trim goes or something but you can start where the window is and go up here and then follow and then now you know you've got the right groove in the top you want to clean all that that channel out with this prep pad. If you lose the prep pads or if they're dry, something like that, just plain rubbing alcohol will do just fine. And they're little, they're little tiny things. So you start up here in the channel and you just, what you're, what you're interested in cleaning is this side of it, the, the outside, because that's where the tape's going to stick and run that through there. You know, you'll get some crud. Go to another clean spot on it. And, you know, if yours has been like off road or it's particularly dirty, like I say, get you a, get you some more rubbing alcohol and just put it on this little prep pad. Make sure you give that alcohol, you know, just a minute to dry. It doesn't take it long, but make sure you give it a minute to dry. Then I'm going to take my trim tool again and put it in here, right there. Take your visor just a couple inches on each end, peel the the red part back off the tape. And you want to be careful not to get the tape itself. Peel that back, sort of fold that, crease it so that it hangs down like so. Because you want it to stick out so you can peel it out from underneath the, the rubber trim once you get the visor installed. And you're going to do the same thing on the other end. Just peel that back a couple inches 
crease it a little bit so it kind of hangs out. Now you're ready to go. So we're going to take the back again. We'll stick that, stick that untaped flange in between the, the door frame and the rubber trim like so. Then get your, your tape portion into that channel and work it all the way around. So you got it in to, to here, thereabouts. I'm gonna stick that trim tool in right there just to give me a little bit of room. Get that in and then the kit, this front flange is harder to do. It wants to go in the window channel and you don't want it in the channel. You want it between that, um, that mirror cap and the plastic or the uh, rubber. And once you get that in there, you'll kind of, it, it kind of feels right once you get it in there. But that's the key is to, is to make sure that flange goes behind the, the mirror cap and between that rubber, not in the window channel. Otherwise, you'll have a problem with the bounce back. Then you can pull your trim tool out and you take those tab, you take this, the tab off the tape and start peeling it out. Stick that up in there and then, and then push it outward. as you go and come up here and do the same thing just peel that out push it what i what i do is push it up and out okay then you, you want to let your window up real slowly so i'm going to ease it up make sure that it's not going to catch on anything here and here. All right, and then and then fully it'll hesitate a little bit because of that that visor being in the channel, but get it all the way up in there. And so then I want to test it for the bounce back. We'll make sure it's not going to bend itself or anything, you know. So no bounce back. That's because we got these tabs in the right spot. So now what you want to do is leave that window shut for a minimum of 24 hours. It depends on the temperature. Um, where I live, it's pretty warm. It'll be fine in 24 hours. If it's colder, you know, like say below 50 or something, maybe below 60. I'd leave them shut for 48 hours and uh, then it'll be uh, completely set and sealed and it'll be fine. So let's do the back. Now the back is a little similar, uh, but also a little different. So it's got a tab up front because it's got the same kind of frame. And then on the back, it's just got a curve with a secondary piece of tape that goes in here. So again, I'm going to take my trim tool and like I say, you can do it without that. It's just easier to film it doing it this way and stick that tab between the, the frame and the rubber trim. And on the, like I know on the 2018s, there's this, these little clips up here. Um, you're going to go behind them. And I just recommend dry fitting it again just to be sure. Make sure that's gonna set up in there right. So that looks good to me. So now I can peel the tape back. Same thing, another alcohol prep pad. And you know, be sure to do this step because the window channels get pretty grimy and that'll have everything to do with how well that tape sticks. Make sure on the back you come on around to this past this radius because you got tape on the, the back edge of that visor. I don't know what those clips are. I need to read about what they are. <clears throat> now, while we let that dry, we can, uh, we can go ahead and 
pull the tape back and I just crease it down so I can get to it. Back here on the back, I just go ahead and peel all of this off. If I can get it, there we go. And then the back, a couple inches of that. Same thing, kind of crease it down. So take, again, take this, this tab, go between the door frame and the rubber, get it in there, and then start easing the rest into the channel. You got to kind of, on these, you got to flex them a little bit to roll this back part in, get it in the channel, push all of that up in there best you can, and then start peeling that tape out. You're going to have to watch these clips. You're going to have to come under the clips if you've got those. And then push it up and out, just like the front. So, pop that out. And then let's go ahead and ease it up also. Check for the bounce back. You, what you wanna do is just make sure that the glass isn't gonna catch anything on the visor and bend it. So, make sure that window goes all the way up into the channel. And it's like I say, the first time or two you're gonna hear it, it's gonna strain a little bit. Roll it back down and then roll it up to make sure you don't have bounce back there. No problem. So we're good to go. And again, let that sit for 24 to 48 hours. The longer, the better. And that's it. Do both sides and you're done. Thanks for watching my video. I appreciate it. This gives the, the truck a pretty good look. Please give me a like below. If you would hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel and hope to see you back real soon. Thank you. God bless you.